Hey y'all, I'm Elizabeth Sewell and this is my character analysis video log for Dr. Reeves' analyzing television class. I decided to go old school with my character choice and chose someone who's been called the baddest bad guy of his time, the definition of evil, and just earlier this year was named TV Guide's nastiest villain of all time. That's right, I'm talking about Dallas's J.R. Ewing. I'm sure that anyone that knew J.R. would agree with me as I describe J.R. as immoral, egocentric, and manipulative. But that's part of what made J.R. a great character. Everyone loved to hate J.R. He would come up with these crazy rude one-liners like this. Ah, oh, I know it. Pays to have you and blood in your veins, no matter how it got there. Or this. What difference does it make? Whoever it is, it's got to be more interesting than the slut I'm looking at right now. Or even this. You have succeeded in becoming the perfect failure. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> I just don't believe it. Without even batting an eye. JR had a number of extramarital affairs and was completely driven by money. He didn't let anyone stand in his way, including his own blood. Well, what's a family for if it can't take care of its losers? Despite all of these characteristics, JR always seemed to get what he wanted. JR Ewing became a household name with one of TV's greatest cliffhangers, known today as Who Shot JR? That's when Larry Hagman, the actor who plays JR, used his public persona to get what he wanted in his contract. While I can relate to none of the qualities that make JR, well, JR, I can definitely appreciate a great character who was portrayed with excellence. If you haven't seen JR in action, I would definitely recommend checking out reruns of Dallas. Oh no, I don't give a damn about you or your happiness, honey, but I do care about what's good for me.